Whoa! Are you kidding me? Alrighty, so, from that little text right there, it is true. I decided to restart the game after that death, because after retrying, it restarted me way too far back for me to think it was worth it. So, a couple days later, decided to go through it up to this point again, up to the point where I died, but I did much better since I didn't have to focus on, like, inspecting every little thing. So, here I am now at that point where I died, and as you can see, I have a lot more handgun ammo than I did before I died. And that is because I discovered the bow gun is really useful against those bandersnatches. It's like much more useful than the handgun. Of course, not as powerful as the grenade launcher, but still did its job pretty good. So I made use of all of those arrows that I was gathering up. So I have way less than I did before I died. But anyway, we're just going to continue right from where I died, and I already defeated those bandersnatches, so that wouldn't happen again. <laughs> so yes, we got the silver key, and we're continuing onward. So yeah, my inventory will be a little different than before I died. As long as I show you guys the entire game, that's what matters to me. It doesn't have to be one continuous playthrough. I've did, I did this in Resident Evil 3 when I got decapitated. I had to work my way all the way back up to that point where I died, off camera, and then just continue from there. So with the silver key in possession, we can unlock some doors back in the palace. I already knew the code, I didn't pick up the card in this playthrough. <laughs> Alright, uh... I think that's good enough for now. Still won't need the hemostatic for a little while. Oh crap. First silver key door. We got in here. Ooh, more handgun ammo. Nice. Ooh, more bow gun powder to make explosive arrows. Ooh, some herbage. An antique grand piano. It is designed so it reads out data. Okay, so something obviously goes in that slot. That's it in this room. There's probably a connection between the piano and this slot machine. We can't do anything about it right now. Alright, no more silver key doors. Oh! <laughs> 
You guys don't. <laughs> Not again. We got another eagle plate. Well, before I take that, real quick, what do we got over here? This is a file. Hunks report. Ooh. then all right more handgun ammo all right I think that's the only thing left in this room I mean I'll check all around here but nope all right, we got another eagle plate, so now we could fill in that slot back in the prison. I need to clear some space before I go anywhere. some more explosive arrows real quick. Alright, um... I got hit a couple times by those banner snatches, so... I'm gonna use one of these herbs, and I should be totally fine now. Let's just store one. Alright. Uh, I think I'm happy with that inventory right there. I may not... Oh, no, I probably do. Alright, I need those cards. Alright, I guess it's time to head back to the prison. However, I just thought, realized there's something, something that I neglected to do in this little area. Oh, Steve and his dad are gone. All right, going up to the second floor. Now that I got the blue card, I can unlock this. Ugh. And I no longer need the card, so that's how you know we're done with it. Ooh, some more herbs. Dang, I could have made a triple herb. Oh yeah, I stored one. We're alright. What is this? The army proof. Okay. Well, judging by its shape, it's probably gonna go in that in that one thing that was at the airport. Ooh, grenade rounds. I could use those. There we go. Various commands may have been given from here. Alright. What is this? The albinoid description. A creature which is created by injecting the T-virus into the genes of a salamander. Characteristics. Similar to a normal amphibian, an albinoid's body will change as it grows with age. When young, an albinoid is small in size, but it can grow to over 7 feet in a very short time frame. 10 plus hours. They possess high mobility and are able to discharge electricity. These characteristics are most notable when they are underwater in their adult form. Alright. Well, we'll probably have to deal with that later. <laughs> Alright, so 
everything on this side. Oh wait. Biohazard breakout in the bio experiment room. Switch to security monitor. Yeah. Oh, so this is that room where the guy was attacked. Because there he is, dead. And we can see the picture. There's a number. 1126. And the bio, bio experiment room has finished ventilating. The past number has been enabled. Alright, so. Uh oh. <laughs> that door. So I guess that room that was under biohazard is clear. And we can go back there. Luckily we're right in that area. And check it out. We no longer need that card either. Awesome. Clearing out our inventory. Now we can go in this room since we know the code. One, two, one, two, six. All right. Ooh, acid rounds, the best round. He's already dead. No shit. Oh god, I see it up there. You see that? It's up there. It doesn't seem to be working now. So I guess I can get this picture. Oh no. Detected. Level 3. Emergency shutters will close. All personnel is back immediately. Oh god! I gotta get out before it seals me in. <laughs> I don't like how the timer's still going on these door animations. <laughs> Barely. Alright, well we're never going in there again. No, it's clear anyway. Alright. Well, we got all of that. What else can we do now, now that we got this picture? Running low on space, though. Well, I know what I could do. Oop. Down to the first floor. Oh no. Where'd all these people come from? Because I have a key item, isn't it? Alright, here's where the picture goes. Ooh. What's this? Ooh, the gold key! Alright, that one room in the palace can now be unlocked. Anything special? Nope. It's a diorama modeled after this facility. There's a hole to put something in. Huh. 
Oh, I can't go anywhere. I see stuff back there, but I can't access it. I really need space, and I got the gold key anyway, so I'm gonna head back to the palace before the prison. Alright, first let's clear out some of our inventory. How much handgun ammo do I have? Oh, a lot, still. Alright, um, I'm not going to need the proofs for some time, so I'm going to store that, make a triple herb right here. Alright, store the acid rounds, store this herb, and I think I'm happy with that. Gold key door. Ooh, interesting room. Message to the new family master. So this file is actually important. It gives you the clues to this puzzle that I'm about to solve. <laughs> it's been a while though. I don't think I know it off the top. I might have to refer to that file myself. But I know for a fact it starts with this. The This is Veronica Ashford, the matriarch. Probably this one. Okay. So obviously that wasn't the correct order. Well, shoot. Gonna have to read that file. Huh. <laughs> okay. So obviously I'm getting uh, Edward and Alexander mixed up. has to be this one first because it has the teacup. Then this guy.
There we go. Got it. The earthenware vase. And that's Alexia. And what's inside? The queen ants. Object. Queen ant object. Alright, well we know where that goes. It goes in the music box back in the estate. Alright, so I'm not perfect when it comes to all the puzzles in the entire franchise. I don't know this game as well as the first three. Alright, now that we're done with that, now we're gonna finally go back to the prison. Uh, let me think for a second here, though. Um, actually, I'm gonna get the hemostat. Since we're heading back there, we could give it to that guy. I'm not gonna get the. I'm gonna store the ant object because I won't need it until we go back up to the estate. Alright, just checking my inventory, we're good. I've about had it with that zombie. Alright, prison time. Never thought we'd be going back, did you? Dogs are still there. Oh, and zombies have returned. First aid spray, screw that. Bloodstained scalpels. He's been anatomized and he's not breathing. A body bag. Anatomist note. Elaborate model of a human body. Something seems to be missing. Yeah, the other eye. Huh. Alright. <laughs> body bags are piled up. 
Oh no! Just what we need. <laughs> a live, a undead body. Oh shit. I'm amazed I'm doing this. And what do we got over here? Another Duralaman case. Uh, we really need a lockpick. Because now we got three uses for it. Ooh, another red herb. Now we really need a green herb. <laughs> Is there anything else here? Nope. Wait. Oh, just a case. Oh, really? You didn't, you didn't even notice that, Claire, so why are you breathing heavily? The dead body has disappeared. Yeah. So it's the anatomist himself, huh? Whoa, he's fast. I'm gonna get rid of him fast. Oh! Critical! What's this? He dropped something. A glass eye. Well, there you go. Solves that little puzzle. A secret passage. Oh, we got bats. Oh, this is that area in the demo. And there's our green herb that we need. Oh no. Bowgun arrows? What is this, like a torture room? Well, if you've read the anatomist's file, I guess you would know what it's for. <laughs> what was that weird device for? A water meal. further down? <laughs> 